Hello friends, welcome back in this uh, quick demonstration. We are just going to set up a tool which is designed to check the vibrations for the entire week and also we can use that to predict the weekly highs or lows. The process is pretty straightforward. If we suspect uh, the low is in for the week, it will project the high. So we can place this tool at Sunday open to start with and then we can adjust the tool to the upcoming pivots for this day. This is Monday. It is going to be placed here to assume that this is the low for the week. It will project the high for the week. And we can also assume this is the high for the week. It will project the low for the week. And this is how it goes. And as the time progresses and we are getting pretty much clear on the pivots, then it gets pretty interesting as the time, the life of the contract is about to end, which means the energy has coiled up and we can use that information to really pinpoint where the market is going to close. It was initially designed to find out for the options market where it is going to close. So let's bring that tool. The tool is called Sunday Open Vibration. Nothing to do here. And you can see here Sunday opens. Let's put it here. First of all, you will observe many times it will go to this level one and vibrate for a few days then it takes off now each day also has energy ownership planet ownership and frequency ownership which means we know which of these numbers these levels are acting as price magnets just to give example of this number two on this day is very reactive because it is frequency of two and 2 goes into 8 4 times. So 2, 4, 8, 6 will be active. So it went to 2. We can always use balance imbalance oscillator we have in the ecosystem. The second part of the tool I was describing is if you suspect this is the high for that day and it could have been the high for that whole week. So this tool was designed originally to find out where the market is going to close. So if you're trading options and you need to know where on the last day or last two days, if you get hold of the close price, we can game the market using options by buying out of the money options. If you have options which is 70, 80 points away and gets in the money, you 10x your money. That's a different uh, discussion we shall have one day by showing you the option charts. So if at this day, if you suspect this is the high, we can relocate the tool. What are we expecting? We are expecting that each highs and lows should collapse at the frequency of 6 or 12 as the close. 
so which means is if this was really the top high 6 was supposed to be the low which means if we bought the options at this price level it went very close but it was not the low so this was the frequency of again this 9 and 2 is 11 is 2 is 2 4 and 6 and 8 so th the frequency of 4 stopped it which is telling us that we are trying to go to 6 but it has not reached there so this is not actually the low the high this is actually going to give us the low and there we go we got the hit on the sixth frequency so there's a lot more going on if you are an option player but this is how this tool is going to be used thank you so much